after actually driving and modifying your vehicle, I think photography and videography are next in line for things to do with your car. Today, we have one of the best known automotive photographers and videographers joining us to discuss this topic. Let's dig in. And and I mean I I picked up a camera too. I currently yeah. use a, a ZV1. I don't know if you know what that is from from I, Sony. Not familiar. No. Okay, but uh, as soon as I got it, and I I mean this this is a point and shoot. It's not even a you know an SLR camera or, mm. or the fancy mirrorless ones that are, that are out there. Um, and just the amount of just information that's online uh, to, yeah. to 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 th that. There's, there's almost too much information. Uh, there is too much information. I'll say that. Um, mm -hmm. Just trying to learn the basics of photography, right? Um, yeah. what, what would you suggest? Like if someone wanted to sh a shortcut to say, hey, uh, I want to, you know, just start shooting photos, right? Um, mm -hmm. Let's start with gear. Let's start with like, like, do you, is gear important or do you just grab your iPhone and just start shooting and mm -hmm. just watch some YouTube videos? Or, or would you suggest someone start? Um, I, I used a really basic camera for the longest time when I started. Um, and even still, like, I feel like I could use a basic camera and still be able to get some, some decent, decent photos. Um, it's more, I guess, uh, your composition, your lighting, and a lot of it is post-production too. Like I, I look at my raw photos and I look at my edited photos and they don't look anything alike. So, uh, if you understand, um, the post-production work and how Photoshop and Lightroom works and even Premiere, if you get into video. Um, you can, it, I don't want to say it doesn't matter on your equipment because certain things you do need the higher level stuff to kind of like, for example, low light situations, you do need a proper camera, mm. um, or can't cheat physics, iPhone. right? Like, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like they, they make, they make the higher end stuff for a reason. Um, mm. but if you're starting out, you don't need to go buy that $4,000 camera. You can get away with, cause I, I, think, I think my first camera was like a Nikon D. 3100 or something that I bought used on Kijiji. It wasn't even anything special, but mm. I made it work. I uh, bought a 50 mil lens, which is like the cheapest one you can get. But I found out is the one that everyone kind of keeps because it's like the, you know, it's the nifty 50. It's the one you, you always use. Um, so I, I feel like you can get started for like under 500 bucks and have fun with it and still get quality pictures and have, uh, have a portfolio that you're still, you know, building and somewhat proud of. Yeah. Do do you um, shoot exclusively in digital, or do you ever go like old school film? See, I I wanted to learn film, and we we had it at our high school. I just I didn't take it, and I I regret it. Um, I'd love to shoot film and learn how to, but I've I've been digital since since I started. That's right. That's your that's your bread and butter. Yeah. 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 Cool. I oh, just curious. Mm. Yeah. 